brothers who have also come to help us move this country forward. Mm -hmm. But they have been victimized at the hands of DA officer, or for, or for, or for lack of a better word, state security officer. Mm -hmm. they, they, have, they, have, they have been the one harassing and terrorizing our friends, our police. They have arrested you guys on allegation that you guys were carrying narcotic substance. When in effect, they did not carry no narcotic substance. But rather, they picked them up at about 2 30 on Friday. Friday, 2 30. Picked those guys up, took those guys to the DA office. But before taking them there, they brutalized them. They cut the other uh, fellow in the head. The man is, is bleeding. You could see the blood stain all on his clothes, on his jacket. On his jacket. Took them at the DA from Friday, last week Friday. Upon our intervention, we asked the authority of DA to sign for them because one of the guys was injured, he was bleeding profusely from his nose and from his mouth so that he can seek medical attention. The authority of DA refused to allow sign for our client to continue the, the, the investigation. After all, we're not, we're, not, we're not interfering or not hindering the, the job. We were just making sure that we could tell life that they had to do so. And so, they kept them there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I also went back there. I spoke with one of the hierarchy of DEA to allow me to sign for them so they can see medication. They refused. Monday, I called DEA. They also refused. So I filed a rate of paper couples with criminal code A. After the rate was set on the DEA and the county attorney office, they received it. DEA decided to take the suspect, our Nigerian friends and our clients, told the peace with my sure code. The peace with my sure code rejected, refused to take to take the guys on grounds that it was it was after the hour. Meaning, statutorily or practice by practice, you don't carry a criminal suspect to, to court after 12. And that was about 4.30 in the afternoon. And when they took our clients to the court. That being said, the following day wishes today where they sort of appear here with the suspect, they did not appear with the suspect, but rather they took the suspect to the peace with my court court and issue a rate of arrest on them. And so against that backdrop, I filed a bill of information with the criminal court a informing the court about the improper proceeding and the unlawful manner in which the DA, the county attorney office, along with the, the magisterial court were proceeding. And so the judge called a conference. Judge Roosevelt Willie, using his good office, offices, called a conference between the county attorney and myself. And after I explained, the county attorney explained, the judge agreed with me that you cannot circumvent the process. The process and procedure is when the superior court has jurisdiction, the lower court loses jurisdiction. So since there was a rate pending or issued by the, the criminal court A, the magisterial court could not proceed any further. And so the judge ordered that they bring the suspect under the jurisdiction of criminal court A so we can pass on the, the rate of herbal corpus as being filed by us against the DA and the Ministry of Justice. Fast forward, the judge asked us to sign for our client and return the following day to proceed with the matter. That we did. We signed for our client. So as far as we're concerned, they are still under the jurisdiction of criminal court A. But to our utmost surprise, the DA officer stay on the court compound to enforce and effect an arrest. And you saw it on the court compound with the sheriff, the bailiff from the, the piece of my insurance court, decided to serve a rate of arrest Why they are still under the, 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 the authority or jurisdiction of criminal court A. And we said, no, that is improper. You can't do this. And the, the sheriff, you were there, you had it. Mm. They said the county attorney instructed them to do it, so they will do it. And so that's it. And so that's a flagrant violation of our law. Now, counsel, this has come at the time uh, speaking on the issue of torture. And just a few days ago, um, on Monday, the police uh, then accused of torturing some peaceful suspect. Um, in that process, one person died. Mm -hmm. Talking about torture, are you afraid that um, if the DA take hold of your client, 
uh, such a thing to happen in, in the space of I'm, 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 you, could, you could have said it better than what you just said, my brother. I'm a friend. I, I mean, you brutalize one of our friends, our, our, our client, one of the suspects. You see the blood stain. The court, the court officer, the criminal court, yeah, the officer, the court officer saw the blood stain. It's all on his clothes, all on his jacket. He's still bleeding from his nose, from his mouth. And we needed to take him to, 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 to hospital today, but now so he can go see medication. So, so you, 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 can't, you can't say more than what you just said, my brother. We are even, even, more, even more afraid that they will do something to their lives. As I speak to you. Can you take any legal action against them? Yes, of course. We have recourse to law. There's a country of law. There's a country of law. The DA, the Ministry of Justice is not above the law. They're not above the law. We are all subject below the law. And so we are all amenable to the law. So where you feel you feel you can abuse power, that's abuse of power. And we maintain the torture, the torture of our clients, the torture of the Nigerian brothers. These are our brothers. They were tortured. They were my hand up. They took the other, they, they took the other, the other, they took the other guy, keys, while he in cells, in the cell, took a keys, went behind him at his store, opened his store, while he in cell, and took a goose from other his store on allegation of drugs. Is that we going to investigate? As a matter of fact, detention. Detention is not investigation. Mm. To brutalize peaceful people is not it's not investigation. We gotta stop this thing. We have to stop this thing. How many of them are you talking about? They are six. Six of our clients. And six where, of our clients. Where, where are the officers for the Nigeria code? Where are they now? When you were there, you saw them. And the and the bailiff were giving, the bailiff were there and the, the, the DAA commander was there. Enforcing arrest, giving a man order to arrest people on the Temple of Justice compound. This is the sacred Temple of Justice compound where the, the petitioner under the jurisdiction of Criminal Court A, you have a DA officer come here and give him order that they might arrest people who are under the uh, parties who are under the jurisdiction of the court. That so what, is the next goes on action. That's a gross violation of the law. It's in gross violation of the Constitution of Labrador. It's in gross violation of the statute, the judicial canon, the rules of court. It's in violation of everything. So, Council, what do you want? Justice. Why, why am I going to be seeking for you? you, you so, so, why are they coming to criminal court? Why are they coming to criminal court? We said, we said, the DA officer said they suspected they got to be carrying drugs. Okay? They were arrested since Friday at 2 30 in the afternoon. They kept them beyond the, the 48 hour statutory period. That's also a violation of the constitution and statutory right. The constitution and the laws of our country say that you have 48 hours to do all of the investigation and forward to court. They kept them there up to this morning after we filed with the Herbert Corpus to produce a living body to, to the criminal court A. And in violation of the order, from, the order and mandate of criminal court A, they took they, they took the, 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 the Nigerian brothers, our clients, our Nigerian brothers, our clients, and took them to Peter Mashua Court. The judge said, Judge Roosevelt said, wait, he said, no, that's improper. Because after I raised the issue, I said, that's improper. When the Superior Court has jurisdiction, the lower court sees or refuse jurisdiction. Because you can't the new ones on the thing that you took for the clients at stock. Well, they told me that they took away uh, about four thousand plus United States dollars. The, the other, the other, the other, the other fellow told me that they went, they took a ski while you were in the in the, in the, in, the, in the cell of DEA, took a shop key, went behind electronics, took all of his electronic devices, took money from his drawer. He had like five hundred US in his drawer and saw like red dollars. He also had additional one thousand five hundred that he had been keeping USD. All of those cannot be accounted for. So, Kanye, what is the next remedy? Well, the, we, we before the criminal court A, like I said, the matter not be disposed of before criminal court A. And so we're waiting to approach the court tomorrow, criminal court A. Is it? Where are the six suspects? You, DA forcefully arrested the people from the court compound. Why are they put on a jurisdiction of the court? That's the kind of country we, we, we're running. Not That's not, what I'm saying. Why are they right now? I don't know. DA took me away. The Labrador Justice Enforcement Agency took me away. I don't know. Took me to our known destination. I, 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 or better stay to the headquarters. Are, are you worried that something may happen to them? Of course, I am. Tomorrow? I am. You took them initially. You took. You picked them off from the street. You brutalized them. You brutalized them. The, 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 the evidence, the proof is there. One of the victims uh, ha hasn't gotten medical attention. No, absolutely not. He hasn't. 
What is the judge saying with respect to what you say? The judge is not here. The judge has left the building of the Temple of Justice. Judge Mr. Will, will have left the Temple of Justice. So what we are doing is that tomorrow in the morning we approach the court and inform the court of better stay. That's a court of record. We're going to file the, paper, the proper the legal papers before the court. So why are you waiting for the judge tomorrow? You're only hoping on God now to protect your clients. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.